Section 36 of The Divine Comedy by Dante Alighieri, translated by Courtney Langdon. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Purgatorio, Canto 2. The Shore of the Island of Purgatory. The Angel Pilot and Arriving Souls. And now already had the sun arrived at that horizon whose meridian circle rests with its zenith o'er Jerusalem, and night, which circles opposite thereto, was issuing from the Ganges with the scales, which, when she gains, are falling from her hands. So that the white and pure vermilion cheeks of beautiful Aurora, where I was, were turning orange through excessive age. Along the seaside we were lingering still, like folk who, taking thought about their road, go on in heart, but with their bodies stay. When lo, as, at the approach of morning, Mars, because of heavy vapours, groweth red down in the west above the ocean's floor, even so I saw, may I again behold it, a light which o'er the sea so swiftly moved, that no flight is as rapid as its motion. From which, when I a moment had withdrawn mine eyes to ask a question of my leader, again I saw it grown more bright and large and on each side of it there then appeared i knew not what white thing and underneath little by little came another forth meanwhile my teacher uttered not a word until the first white objects looked like wings then having recognized the pilot well he cried see see now that thou bend thy knees this is god's angel fold thy hands henceforth shalt thou behold such officers as this see how he so scorns human instruments as to wish neither oar nor other sail than his own wings between such distant shores see how he holds them straight up toward the sky stroking the air with those eternal plumes which do not mould as mortal feathers do and then as more and more the bird divine drew near to us the brighter he appeared Therefore mine eyes endured him not near by, but down I cast them. With a little boat he came ashore, so agile and so light, the water swallowed up no part of it. Such on its stern the heavenly pilot stood, that he would bless one were he but described. More than a hundred spirits sat within. When Israel out of Egypt came, when they all in unison were singing there together with what is written after in that psalm then having signed them with the holy cross whereat all cast themselves upon the shore he went away as swiftly as he came the crowd which stayed seemed strangers to the place and gazed around them there as doth a man who with unwonted things acquaints himself the sun which from the middle of the sky had hunted capricorn with arrows bright was shooting forth the day on every side when those new people raised their brows toward us and said if ye know how point out to us the road that one should take to reach the mount and virgil answered ye perchance believe that we have had experience of this place but we are pilgrim strangers like yourselves we came just now a little while before you but by another way so rough and hard that going up will now seem play to us the souls who by my breathing had become aware that i was still a living being in their astonishment turned death-like pale and as around a messenger who bears the olive people surge to hear the news and as to crowding none of them seem shy so one and all those fortune favoured souls fixed on my face their gaze as if forgetting to go and make their spirits beautiful then one among them i beheld advance in such a loving manner to embrace me that it persuaded me to do the like oh save in your appearance empty shades three times behind it did i clasp my hands and to my breast therewith as oft returned with wonder i believe i painted me smiling because of this the shade drew back while following after i pressed further on with gentle words he told me to desist then who it was i knew and begged of him to stop a little while and speak with me as thee i loved when in my mortal body he answered me even so when freed i love thee therefore i stop but wherefore goest thou Casella, mine said i i take this journey that where i am i may return again 
but why from thee hath so much time been taken and he to me no outrage hath been done me if he who takes both when and whom he likes hath more than once refused me passage here for to a righteous will is his conformed yet peacefully these three months hath he taken whoever wished to enter into his boat hence i who now was toward the seashore bent where tiber's water mingles with the salt was with benignity received by him at yonder river's mouth toward which his wings even now are turned for those who go not down toward archeron always assemble there and i if some new law take not from thee the memory or the practice of the song of love which used to quiet all my longings be pleased a little to console therewith my spirit which because of coming here when in its body is so sore distressed the love that talketh with me in my mind he thereupon began to sing so sweetly that still within me is its sweetness heard my teacher i and those that with him were seemed as contented as if none of us had any other thing upon his mind absorbed in listening to his notes we all were motionless when lo the grave old man who cried ye laggard spirits what is this what means this negligence and standing still run to the mount and strip ye off the slough which lets not god be visible to you even as when picking grains of wheat or tares doves met together at their feeding calm and not displaying their accustomed pride if anything appear that frightens them all of a sudden leave their food alone because assailed by greater cause for care even so i saw that new-come family give up the song and toward the hillside move like one who goes but whither knoweth not nor was in less haste our departure made end of purgatorio canto two